Ghana slam Senate president over blame for insecurity in Southwest. Yeah, <laughs> my wonderful people, the Senate president, you know, came came out to um, attack the Southwest governors, accusing them of being responsible of all the killings of the Fulani yes men and destruction of properties in the Southwest. According to him, he said all these things, you know, were caused because of bad leadership by these governors. He said so many things. You can imagine the statement coming coming out from the mouth of a so-called president of Senate, openly citing his people who go about killing, raping, burning houses, and destroying people's farm. This is just uh, not too good at all because... They are saying we are in one Nigeria, but they don't practice it. There is nothing like one love here. Because whenever things happen, you see them, you know, trying to shake their own and all that. Please don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if this is your first time of coming out here. God bless you. Now the news reads in detail. Southwest governors yesterday took on President of the Senate, Dr. Ahmed Lawa, over his attack on them for allegedly inciting the recent ethnic violence which erupted in some states in the region. They, however, said they would not engage in a media war with those they described as crisis entrepreneurs and divisionalists on matter affecting the security of residents of the country, especially the Southwest. Lawa, in an interview with the AUSA service of the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, had accused the governors of instigating crisis through their unguided utterances. He described what happened in some parts of the Southwest, particularly in Ibadan Oyo State, where the tension boiled over insulting, resulting in a clash between Aosa and the Yoruba traders of Sh at Shasha Market as a failure of leadership. But in a repost to Lawa, the chairman of the Southwest Governor Forum and the governor of Ondo State, Mr. Rotimi Akirodolu San, said the governors would not engage in a media war with any person or group of persons on matters affecting the insecurity of residents of the country, especially in the Southwest. Akiro Dolu, in a statement by his special assistant on new media, Mr. Olabode Olatunde said, at the risk of being repetitive, the governor Akiro Dolu, the led Southwest governors, will not go into the arena of media conflict with crisis entrepreneur and divisionalist. Oyo State Governor Mr. Shein Makinde also described the statement credited to Lawa as unnecessary and uncalled for. Makinde Chief Press Secretary Mr. Tao Adesa said his principal alongside other governors in the Southwest had worked and would continue to work to see that the insecurity issue in the Southwest is ended. He said, he stated that Makinde has never hidden his uh, position on state police as believed that some forms of crime are better dealt with using that police. Adesa said one good example of that is implementation of the state's anti-open grazing law during his visit to Ibarapa recently. He said the governor decried the non-enforcement of the law, adding that such is an area that police would have helped. Criminal crime is committed in localities and the existence of state police with people who know the nooks and corners of areas in no small way helping fighting crimes. The absence of that is as it is where we can say is a hindrance to the will of justice on a large notice. Also, the Ekiti state government also yesterday said it will not take issue with Lawa over his comment. 
the state commissioner for information, Mr. Akinde Omole, told uh, uh, Thursday that the state government has no reason to respond to Lawa's comment since Governor and uh, Governor Kayode Fayemi was not directly accused and that there was no evidence of ethnic tension in the state. Omole stated that since Lawa spoke about the Southwest governors, Akiro Dolu was the right person to reply because he accused governors together. The commission had said uh, the state government would have been ready to respond if Lawa had accused Fayemi of fueling ethnic tension by his utterances. He said we are neither going to reply nor take issue with Senator Ahmed Lawa over the allegation. This is because he, don't, he did not accuse Governor Fayemi of making any comment that could that could be perceived as fueling ethnic tension. Since you spoke about the Southwest, the chairman of the Southwest Governors and Ondo State Governor, Mr. Rotimi Akirodolu, is the right person that will reply because he accused governors together, Omole added. Speaking on the giant actions being taken by the Fayemi to foster ethnic harmony in ethnic states, Omole said a committee comprising all ethnic nationalities had been composed to find two arguments on how and how all contending issues generating uh, rights could be tackled. You are all aware of the committee that had been setting with all the security chiefs to address every contending issues. Representatives of Yoruba, Fulani, and uh, Ibarra, Awosa, Igbo, and others are here. Even our traditional rulers are involved. To us in Ekiti, we are not going to get involved in ethnic profiling on the issue of criminality. We do with every criminal based on what the law says, not minding where the perpetrators came from, he said. So hello guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section and also give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have done. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye.